This is Battle Royale. In my opinion, the most chaotic mode in MLB The Show. You draft a team of players from 99 overall all the way down to 65. To get the best rewards, you gotta go flawless. 10 and 0. Lose one game, you can't get that flawless pack. Lose two games and your entire run is over. I've gone flawless a bunch of times, but the mode stresses me the heck out. But with MLB 24 just coming out, I decided to hop on my very first run of the year. And this run was off to a fantastic start. As you see, I was destroying the baseball. But when I got to 5-0, things changed pretty quickly. Oh, this is someone I know, Chowd ahead. Yeah, he has definitely played a lot. Brutal man. Now this is exactly why I hate this mode, because I just played an hour and a half of games, and I feel like I just wasted every single second of it. And honestly, I'm tired of this. I'm gonna end this Battle Royale funk in MLB 24. So I gave a call to my friend Ray Cheesy, who plays this mode a lot more than I do. How many times did you go flawless in MLB 23? 23, I went flawless 89 times. 89 times. And Ray, being the BR expert he is, gave me a lot of good advice about getting better at BR. Drafting is the biggest thing, in my opinion. Somebody like maybe Mike Piazza has a card where he's got really good attributes, but I'd rather have maybe somebody like Salvador Perez. I know that his swing is really good, so I'd rather have him. You have to realize that you are going to give up runs. Especially if you're playing something that's good, they can put up 10 runs, and you have to be able to bounce back from that. Like, there's... It's going to happen. Absolutely. I mean, I would never do that. I totally did not go down 6 nothing in the first inning of a game and lose composure after three outs. <laughs> totally. I would have never done that ever. And with this advice that I got from a pro BR player, I begin a new challenge. I'll be playing 10 straight runs of Battle Royale. It's the only mode I'm allowed to play on MLB 24 until I get all 10 runs done. And my goal is to get over this irrational stress that I get from this mode and maybe along the way get good at it. Which left me with only one question to ask Ray Cheesy. How many times do I need to go flawless in these 10 runs to get your approval? Okay, so I know that you're a really good player. I can see you getting getting four. Four? four 10 and O's. Okay. Four 10 and O's. Okay. So I went live on Twitch for my very first run of this challenge. Get there, Siri. I need you. Thank you. That's why we pick him, folks. And I was on cruise control this very first run, picking up win after win until I got to 4 0. And this would mark my first sweaty game of the run. There we go. See, I got to do that. All right, one run in an inning is not enough here. Yeah. No, I love that. I love just giving up a freaking home run first pitch on an away circle change. No, that's so cool. Give me. Give me! And that end up in the zone. No, that's so sick. Freaking dork, dude. Freaking pathetic, dude. God. Every single damn swing that game I just missed. Yeah, really underwhelming way to end a run. But I'd keep playing to try to get 10 wins anyway. And for the first time all video, I'd run into Babe Ruth. Right now, this card is extremely broken in Battle Royale. He gets full energy every single game out of the bullpen, meaning you could pitch with a 99 overall pitcher every single game. Not only was Babe Ruth dicing my life away, my opponent started to crush the baseball, and this game did not end up too well. Nice, nice pitch, Jimmy. Is the high slider meta? That was just the first game I faced Babe Ruth like that too. I know it's gonna be a problem. It's just gonna be every game he comes out of the bullpen and his stupid face is gonna be chucking sliders high in his zone or something stupid like that. I feel like if I need to overcome this fear of BR, I just need to focus. So after giving a stupid excuse to not stream, I decided to start recording and just playing on my own. And I'll tell you what, I definitely started to hate myself because after playing my first run on my own and then losing very early on, I was not a happy camper. Very quickly, I was on my third run out of 10, and there was no progress made. I haven't even made it past six wins yet. But in game number one of this run, something just felt different. This lineup was just clicking in some other way that wasn't happening before. I was putting up good swing after good swing, and my opponents actually were quitting games. 
I have, I'm starting to lock it in. Here we go. This Dalton rushing card, initial impression in BRE seems very fun. Everything was clicking this run. We were hitting tanks, making plays in the field, and I just keep on picking up wins. And very quickly, this team felt like the chosen one. Let's freaking go, dude. Come on. 8-0. But of course, I had to run into this stupid Babe Ruth. God, I wish that line drive hit Babe Ruth in his stupid face. What? God, I freaking suck. Freaking hate this Babe Ruth stuff. Freaking get off me, baseball. All right, that's a big that's a big one. That is a brutal double play, man. God dang it, man. Freaking hate Babe Ruth. All right, I need to pitch my tuchus off. All right, there's one. Oh God, get in, get it, get behind it. All right, just a single, all right. Oh, please turn it. Turn this. <sighs> Trevor's story, if you had cost me that game, oh my lanta. <sighs> all right, we're nine to know for the first time. All righty. 9-0. It's all down to this game. And dude's leading off a catcher. There we go. That's a two-bagger. I really hope I didn't miss that. I really hope I didn't. We did not. Run. Run. Let's freaking go, dude. Seven nothing. Oh, if I'm hitting like this, we ain't losing. We ain't losing, baby. Let's go. I feel like this is the worst player I've played in all of BR this year. On my first 9-0 game, of course. This is full circle. Last night when I played BR, I lost a game by... 30. Yes, I gave up 30 runs to like a really, really, really good BR player. And it really discouraged me heading into today. And of course, in my flawless game, we've put up 16. I can be good at BR. And this run shows it. There it is. Flawless number one on the year. I genuinely enjoyed that, which is kind of saying something because I normally hate the mode. So there we go. Vibes were at an all time high. And run number four was off to a fantastic start too. Also, I was having way too much fun. Yeah! Get there, get there, get there, get there. Let's go. Six and L. I mean, eight and L. We're a thin reach yet again. Okay, that is, that's an unlucky hit right there. That's not good. There we go. That's what we need, baby. Dang it, man. All right, well, at least we tied it. Man, this guy is a fluke god. It's all the dinky hits. Oh, my Lanta. Good swing. Finally, he had one good swing after all of that. I need you to catch this. I really hope I didn't make a mistake here. no way, bro. There's no way. Can we catch this, please? Thank you. All right. Well, we got to get five. There we go. We need four more. Sit. Give me one. Thank you. It's got to. There's no way that's not a home run. I'm all over that freaking ball. I don't care what the game said. Let's go. One more. Wow, gutsy pitch. Well, there goes the flawless. That's brutal. I really think that Larry Walker swing should have been a homer. It is what it is, man. We're trying to finish up the 10 win. I think I could definitely get the 10 win. One eternity later. Let's get three runs. Come on. This is for Corey Seager. Give me that. Yes. Lead off runner. Nice. Tying runner on. Oh, he botched the throw. That's crazy. Come on. To 
Tony Clark to the gap. Perfect, perfect. Let's go, man. I don't care that we didn't go flawless there. That was a fluke loss. And I got Corey Seager, man. It's freaking huge, man. Yeah, I have no idea what was going on with me there. <laughs> but it was time for another day of runs. That's how you get the day going, baby. Yesterday was good. I feel a lot more comfortable with the mood. And honestly, I feel like I see the addiction coming. Yes. Absolute piss missile. I don't know what happened since that first flawless run, but I just found something in the mode. Yet again, I was scorching hot. Take a seat. Give me that. Give me that, you stupid Shohei. Sorry. I love Shohei. Yeah, I need to do this. We need this. This scan needs to be here. Every inning. Every game. 5-0, and oh, baby. That's how you tie it right back up. Yup. There we go. Another win in the bag. It got sweaty. 6-0, I think. But in my next game, we ran to another good player. All right, this dude's gone flawless before. This is going to be sweaty. Yep. All right. It's one of those games. We're going to give up some runs. We just got to get our runs. No! Unlucky way to end the inning. All right, we got to work through some trouble here. This ain't going to be easy. Frustrating. Frustrating start to this game, man. You gotta find it, though. There, I can't make excuses. There's no excuse for me to not be able to win this game. Come on, man! Let's go, Lou Bob. We're down four. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Down three. Come on, man. I need this to be an out. Thank you. No way, man. Come on. It's, gonna be a it's not gonna be an out. Okay, good. It almost was. Why would you swing at that? F off. Okay, F off game. F off. A game I should have effing won. But here I am freaking losing stupid games. Even though I was frustrated, I did manage to finish up the 10 win run later on that day. Giving us our third 10 win run throughout this entire video. But being real, my goal was to go flawless. And even though I've done better than I probably expected thus far, getting close to going flawless and losing it is really frustrating. And I would get on another hot streak to start run number six, and I'd get all the way up to seven and zero yet again. But of course, as things were going well, I would have yet another test. Oh no! Oh no! This is Wavy Turtle. Oh no! He's already gone flawless ten times. Well, now you know, Chat. Yep, that's expected. Is that what it comes down to? Do I have to just accept that 10 runs an inning is something plausible? Nice, dude. Freaking all we hit is freaking noodle swings, man. This is really cool playing someone who is impossible to get out. How, like, oh, it's hitting the gap. Okay, never mind. Gotta put a better swing up than that. Seven more. Not Meg. Three more. Two more. Bad swing there. That's a no go. That's a no go.
Come on. I can't even look at it. It's just tying the game. We have to take a lead. A significant lead. Good pitch. He iced up when he needed to. If I had just done that in the first, then we absolutely could have won. So yeah, this was a very bittersweet moment. I went from getting absolutely crushed by good players to start off this video to fighting to the very end against literally the number one rated player. But yet again, this is still a run that I lost at 7-0, which was definitely still really annoying. But at this point, I was at run number seven. Meaning if I wanted to reach my first goal, I need to go flawless in three of the next four runs. So even though I was destroying the baseball and flying through another run, there's a bit of pressure building up as I'd get later and later into it. But if there's any silver lining when the games were going well, I was having a lot more fun. <laughs> nice play, Jimmy Rollins, you dweeb. But yet again, that fun would quickly end when I ran to apparently the best player on planet Earth. And I fell behind 11 to two. And honestly, I'm still really confused at what happened in this game. No way I'm in a freeze off. There's no way I, I'm in a freeze off. I have no idea what just happened. Did, did we freeze? Did he just randomly disconnect? I'm so confused. So for the second time this video, this run felt like the chosen one. I was destined to go 10 and 0. 9 and 0, come on, baby. But of course, in this 9-0 game, I was having a far more difficult time hitting. Oh my gosh, man! Come on! I need this to be two. I need it. I need it caught. Think. Okay, cool. We're gonna do this in our flawless game. I love that for me. So we gotta get a beginning on the at the plate now. Why is the timing off, man? Why am I so late on that? See, as ah, is this just a connection thing, man? Okay, dude. What what else can I do in that stupid pitch? Yes, Glebe. That's my goat. Check the swing, man. Freaking tap the button. There's just no way we're making errors in the literally first game of the entire run. We're doing it in the nine and zero game. This is so fluky. Look at balls in on the nuts. Don't do this to me, game. And that's gonna be a lazy fly out, sick. Break something. First of all, that's something that does not happen often. I never really rage at MLB The Show like I just did. And this is something that honestly would turn me off from Battle Royale. But since I was seven runs in and I knew I could go flawless, I still had the weird itch to keep on playing. So I'd hop right back on, finish this run 10 and one, and uh, I was still clearly salty. <laughs> I just felt the most pain I've ever felt in MLB The Show. But here I am, queuing right back up, Trying to go flawless. And playing MLB The Show when you're angry is a completely different beast. This wasn't even about having fun anymore. This was just about murdering the baseball and any opponent I ran into. And after getting deep in this run again, about the worst thing would happen. Yup, Babe Ruth and his stupid face was back on the mound. And at this point, I was pissed. No way, man. God, I hate this stupid Babe Ruth BS. F you, buddy. You're trash. I'm going to go mentally insane. And at this point, I promise you, I was the exact opposite of Cobb. Freaking hate this card, dude. After another frustrating loss, I needed a bit to just vent including some batting practice and trying to hit Babe Ruth's head. I was just in my head so badly after losing late in another run. Be just being real, I don't, I don't think I should play anymore. The pain of spending two and a half to three hours on a run, and then all it takes is someone who's abusing this 
two-way player glitch, or just anything that happens that just causes you to lose that run. That type of frustration brings something out of me that nothing else ever has. But I, I, I get so frustrated. It drives me nuts. So, I'm not even gonna play 10 runs. Yeah, that was a lie. I woke up the next day, loaded right back into BR, and the same chaos was happening. God, F this game, man. Let's give up an 82 mile per hour homer to lose a game. And then later that day, I'd lose another PR run. Honestly, my addiction got so bad, my friends had to step in and stop me. No, no scan. No, no, no. Okay, I'm done. That would conclude my 10 plus runs of Battle Royale. And funny enough, I had played about 24 hours of the mode. But being honest, going flawless once makes me a little sad. I did get a few more 10 win runs, which was definitely helpful. But in terms of how well I played, it was definitely disappointing. But if there was anything I did well in this video, I definitely learned to not be afraid of Battle Royale. This is probably some sort of chronic addiction at this point. So if you want to watch me complete a challenge that didn't drive me mentally insane, I bet you'll like watching this video right here.